All right, in this video, we will um, do some applications involving similar triangles. All right, some word problems, some real world problems. So, Lance the alien is five feet tall, and then we got to have this tree. Um, if you measure the uh, height of various objects and look at their shadows, um, the shadows are all being cast by the same sun. So similar triangles will always be created if you create the triangles using the uh, figure and the, its shadow. So using that, we can figure out the height of the tree. Okay, so we'll call the height of the tree X since that's what, what we are looking for. And uh, we can just do a simple proportion. So um, X over 32. Okay, um, well, I guess I should, let me go between the two shapes. Let me start over. Okay, because uh, the way we normally do it, we'll say this side is proportional to this side, and this length is proportional to this length. All right, so let me stick to what we know. So I'll, I'll do x over 5. Okay, and that should equal 32 over 8. So we just cross multiply. Okay, now 8 goes into 32 four times. Okay, so if you notice that, then you might go, all right, this is just 4. Okay, so you could force this to be a cross multiplication problem by... Um, putting a little one under this. But that's a little silly um, because you could just multiply both sides by five instead and just get x equals 20 that way. Um, so whatever you're comfortable with. But since usually we do cross multiplication on these problems, I think I want to just stick with that so I don't confuse anybody. Okay, so this would be like x times one would be x and 4 times 5 would be 20. Okay, so the height of the tree is 20. So that's it for the alien, number 9. Okay, how about number 10? Okay, Julia here is using the uh, flagpole and the shadow um, to estimate and figure calculate the height of the flagpole. Okay, very useful because she can walk along the ground and measure the distances on the ground, um, but it's very difficult to directly measure the height of the flagpole. So anyway, let's use similar triangles. Hopefully you, you can see that uh, Julia and her shadow form a small triangle here, and then of course we've got the large triangle all right, formed by the uh, the flagpole and its shadow. So um, we can use similar triangles to solve this and proportionality, but I need you to be very careful to avoid a common mistake. All right, many, many students will go, okay, seven over 28 is equal to five over X, but that would be wrong, okay? 5 and x are both whole sides of the triangle, okay? So that's fine. We will do 5 over x. But 7 and 28 are not both whole sides of a triangle. 7 is, 7 is the entire side of the yellow triangle. But 28 is just the leftover part, all right? Um, so when you... Um, do this large side of the triangle, you need to add these two numbers together. So please, please, please do not mix whole lengths like x and 5 with partial lengths like 28. All right, so 28 plus 7, um, that's going to be 35. So when you set up your proportion, um, of course, these lengths will be um, corresponding sides. 
Um, but then also these lengths, all right, the 7 and the 35 will be corresponding sides, not the 28. So when you set up your proportion, it's going to look like this. Okay, um, I'm going to just go ahead and go big over small. So that's going to be x over 5, and that should equal 35 over 7, the big side over the smaller side. Okay, 35 over 7. Now this uh, reduces, right? Um, 7 goes into 35 five times. So this is x over 5 is equal to 5. So I would just multiply both sides by 5 and get 25. Um, but if you want to make it continue to seem like a cross multiplying problem, you can look at this as 5 over 1 if you want. All right, so then cross multiplying, it's a little silly, but um, x times 1 will give you x. 5 times 5 gives you 25. So the flagpole is 25, and let's not forget our units, 25 feet tall. All right, so we have a statue and a person, and this is a mirror, and they're looking down at the mirror, seeing the top of the statue. This is a technique to use to indirectly measure the height of something that's very tall. Um, because it creates similar triangles, all right, because these two angles will always be congruent. So, um, similar triangle-wise, these two sides are corresponding, and these sides are corresponding. So, we should be able to uh, set up our proportion very easily. So, for example, x over 1.8 should equal 4 over 2.4. So then it's just a matter of cross multiplying. So that's going to give us 2.4x, all right, is equal to whatever that is, 4 times 1.8. So that is 7.2. All right, divide both sides by 2.4, and that's it. Three. All right, that's the height of the statue. All right, a hockey player pa passes the puck to a teammate by bouncing the puck off the wall of the rink as shown. All right, like that. From physics, the angles that the path of the puck makes with the wall are congruent. How far from the wall will the pass be picked up by his teammate? All right, so we have similar triangles. The key is we need an expression for um, this side of the bigger triangle. And uh, we know that if the whole length is 6 and this part is 2.4, then the missing part over here, we could write 6 minus 2.4. Um, so what is that? Um, that's 3.6. All right, so this part right here is 3.6. Um, so now we can uh, set up our proportion. These two lengths are corresponding. And now these two lengths are corresponding. Okay, so for example, 1 over, uh, well, let's do it this way. D over 1, okay, I'm doing green over green, should equal 3.6 over 2.4. Okay, 
Now, um, that makes it really easy if we set it up that way. We don't even have to cross multiply because we already have d by itself, right? d over 1 is just d. So all we really need to do is divide. 3.6 divided by 2.4. Sorry about the noise. Okay, that is 1.5. All right, 1.5 meters. All right, so that's the answer to number 12.